Hi everyone, the Shires are updated and out in the game. They also came out with a bunch of medieval looking bridles. None of these are my cup of tea. I wish you could filter out the global store and just like delete everything that you don't want. Or, okay, even better, make a wish list on the global store and pick out specific things and then have them on a list. I don't know. That would be cool. I need to sell Anushka because I cannot deal with Anushka anymore. I was excited for this horse at first, except I don't think I paid attention enough because I didn't realize that the shape is just completely off, just the horse in general. And I'm like, the eyes are creepy. I just don't want this horse and I'm not going to ride this horse. And with the new Shires coming out and them being updated, I'm like, I'm just going to sell Anushka. I wish I could give her away. That might have seemed a little unexpected, but I did put her right here. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll sell her in this video because this video is about draft horses and then buy a new Anushka, even though I don't think I'm going to name one of the Shires Anushka. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to run by them real quick, get the big Bonnie bonus and come back. It has a droopy lip. What the hell just happened? I think this is a glitch. You can literally click on any of these and they'll show up. So I don't even have to go to Fort Pinta. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. I'm not sure. But this is the one that I was like, oh yeah, this one looks like Angus. I guess I should put the other one back. There's cute socks. There's cute dapples. Okay, something that I really love is that the sheen on the coat, the shininess, is so realistic. It looks like I'm at the barn in real life and just either looked at a shiny horse or sprayed show sheen on a horse. That's wild, okay? They did a really good job with that. I don't know how much taller they are than the per- Oh, see, that's why I should have kept a Nooshka so I could compare. I don't even technically have an old Shire. I only have the magical kind of coat horses that are the Shire body, but then they have like the jelly hair kind of situation. I liked this light gray one the most because the dappling is so pretty and the markings are pretty. The eyes are pretty. Okay, I wish you could zoom in on the buying page. That would be really helpful, but oh my goodness, cute and squishy. I'm not into flax and chestnuts and I don't know, the marking on the face. It's funny because they put so much detail in these horses that you can kind of tell that some of them are older than other ones. Like this one's older. With grays, it's a little different of a situation. Like this horse, no matter what, it's got to be young. Same with this pony. I looked at the fleckled, speckled, what, what would you call this? This is the same coat as that thoroughbred. Oh god, they're so big. Oh my god, so when people... They just ran over the Jorvik pony. What the heck? Girlfriend, what are you doing? I don't know what color coat this is called. Like, I don't know what color gray this is, but it's the same as that thoroughbred. I have the thoroughbred, it's Eeyore, but it's really cute. Except this one is definitely an older horse. This one's beautiful. I'm not gonna get it either though. This is the type of trot that I personally love. But it's not the trot I would expect for this breed, which is funny, but I have no complaints because this is the type of trot I love anyway. So, I mean, not that it's what I was expecting, but I love it. I'll go off and I'll be like, this is my Hunter Shire. I'm going to go try to win the hack with my Shire. I love the canner. It doesn't look like the horse is going to break its legs, which is great. Their back legs are moving separately. Oh my god, their tail flows in the wind beautifully. They're just majestic horses. Special move. Wait, can they roll, please? Please roll, please. <laughs> they just lay down or like sit. I'm definitely buying this light gray one. I can't pass this light gray one up. And then I really like the black and white one, even though I said right from the bat, oh yeah, no, I'm not getting this one. The roach can turn a horse into a completely different looking horse. Like, it's just a grown out roach. It just gives it more of a punky look. I think I'm gonna keep the original hair. I think I like the original hair the most. You can have 
a forelock that's in the middle if you get the hairstyle that has the braid on it. Or I could have a shorter hairstyle, mm, which it changes the forelock. Just because you take the mane off doesn't mean the forelock changes too, though. You don't need to cut the forelock off sideways like this just because you make the mane shorter. That's not the MO. I don't have a name. <laughs> I think I'm gonna name her Angelica. The name Angelica, I feel like gets a bad rap, especially after Rugrats, because Angelica's a little brat from Rugrats, but this horse... I could do Angelina, but that's the name of my cousin, so I don't want to. For the Jorvik name, I could do Angeli, or I could just do Angel. I'm just doing Angel, and then her nickname is going to be Angelica. Even though Angel's like more of the nickname for Angelica, but this is how it is in Jorvik, okay? I love when you click on the buy horse and you get all of the little effects in the background. Yes, I would like to buy this angel. She's all sparkly. Okay, oops. I definitely need to make a new outfit though. I've been wearing yellow for too long. And the reason the yellow outfit looked good on Marcia is because Marcia is a warmer toned gray. Angel's right here, what the heck? I had a spot so Angel just got put in my stable. Angel, she's so big. Stitch loves Angel. Could you put a Jorvik pony underneath the Shire? They're that big. Our characters are like baby children. I have to get Lacey out. She doesn't want to come out. because She's like, this situation is going to be dumb. The Jorvik pony could limbo under the Shire. This looks kind of like Angelica, but an Irish cob, but not as nice. What? <laughs> I bought a new horse and all of a sudden this new horse is like trumping multiple horses. Like this horse made me sell Anushka for good reasons. Okay, why can I not control my own horses? I love the Shires definitely a lot more than the Irish Cobbs. I was like, no, the Shires aren't gonna trump the Irish Cobbs for me. And now I'm like, wait, when you put them together, Hang on, I need to chop this horse's mane off. This is the thing about draft horses. Oh my god, that made the horse even worse! This style of trot is how I thought the Shire's trot was going to be. I mean, I could sell this Irish cob and then put Dove or Winterberry back on my names list. I had to put Merida back on my names list because I got rid of my American quarter horse that was Merida. So once there's a red horse that I like, I guess I'll name that horse Merida. Anushka's back on my names list because I still want a horse, a horse. I still want a horse named Anushka. When I was thinking about horses, I didn't even think about Dove getting replaced. Yeah, I could say, oh yeah, this is the little sister horse, but I'm not gonna ride her. Also, I just ruined Dove's mane and wasted star coins on it because I'm smart like that. This is Panda. I still love Panda. I still love Franklin. I think Franklin's nice. Lila is still really beautiful. And then if you look at the cheekbone, I don't think I'm gonna sell her yet, but I just ruined her mane. There's gonna be drama between them though, because I just brought Angelica in, and Angelica's a 10, and then we have Dove over here, and Dove looks like she has pink eye. Should I use the newest top? I got some new breeches. So I thought that Jorvik Frisians were big. Oh, okay. Angelica, come on, you can do this. Get in the stall with Eunice. This is supposed to be the black bridle, and what's bothering me is that it's really grayish toned. I think I'm just gonna switch bridles to the old one. Double recycling. I've never been so into doing collectible things as I am in this current day and age. Oh my gosh, I matched the flowers over here. I've really been working on my quests and my reputation and stuff. My quest list used to be so long, and guess what? I went to Tailtop. Now that I'm getting to know this place a little bit more, it actually isn't as bad as I thought. Still not really into Redwood much. I do like the jumping course. I think the jumps in there are very, you know, weathered, unique. So I was dog sitting 11 dogs for a few days. While I was sitting on the dogs, I was doing a lot of quests just because I had time. Farah, we're on level eight. Conscious gatherer. To be conscious, 
you have to use recyclables. I think they mean conscientious. If you don't pick up the recycling, you are automatically unconscious. Somebody will knock you out. That is according to Farah's workshop. These do not look like beanies to me. They look like sacks that you wear on your head and nobody's telling anyone that they're actually ugly. And so people who want to be like Farah are like, oh my God, like she's wearing a sack on her head. So like we should too. Okay, that sounds really mean, but anyway. I miss how many nice flowers the Druid paddock used to have. It used to be the best photo op place. And now it kind of is like at the bottom of it. Oh, I didn't even like look at the jump. Should I not look at it? Because this video might end up getting negative once I start looking at how it jumps. Because here's the thing, okay? They're draft horses. They get an automatic pass, okay? And these ones are especially big draft horses. And you expect them to jump this huge... If this were real life, this would be a big monstrosity sized wall. But because it's star stable, you know, we don't think of things as that big because it's a virtual world. You know, you expect them to like jump something that's like up to their chest and do it gracefully. I mean, they're a huge draft horse. So even if it's going to look like really awkward, I completely give them a pass. It does look really, it, it's awkward. They're like, oh my God, we're jumping right now. That's the face that they're making. Oh my gosh, their, their canner jump actually is like, fine usually the slower jump is the more awkward jump like how the lusitanos have their like awkward jump but our characters are ooh. okay i don't know why i did that but anyway our characters are the worst of all actually because look our characters are not okay snowball is okay snowball is like this is just great i don't have to run or do anything i'm just along for the ride and then the character is having a really hard time I just miss all the white trees over here that used to rain down their petals. It was beautiful. Oh my God, <laughs> I got it. Look at Snowball's face. That is hilarious. He's like looking at me like, why are you kicking my bag? I have to take a picture. These horses have a circus pony rear. This is what they look like backing up. You know, nothing special. They're a little careful about backing up, actually. Hard stop. I'm just doing all... Oh my goodness! The hard stop is so graceful. Oh my goodness. See, this is the type of stuff that I forget to show in every... Um, well, can't say every, but almost every horse buying video. And everybody's like, you forgot to show that! And I'm like, yeah, I did forget. So that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about the Shires. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.